What is up guys and welcome back to some more VGC 2019 in the last episode I did go 2 and 0 oh, even though we got matched up with two uh, 1500 rated players both of which only decided to bring uh, one restricted mon So we'll see who we run into today 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 I, I just can't believe that that two two opponents back to back both of them just brought one restricted mon and here we go some from Japan with the 1671 rating Mawile Interesting seeing a Mawile. I think I've seen this team before actually Mawile on a non trick room team and this I don't think Lele can learn trick room Kartana Kyogre uh, They have Tailwind though <laughs> That they do have I don't have Payapa Berry Kyogre Rayquaza, Kartana, or Mawile, because you need it for Xerneas. <laughs> Hydreigon could have the Tailwind, too. Let's see, Togedomaru and Braviary, even though I pretty, I'm pretty sure you're going to bring Tapu, Fee, Tapu Lele. Tapu Lele, Kartana, if Kartana has Tailwind, or Tapu Lele, Hydreigon. Do I want to bring Kyogre here? Do I need Kyogre? I don't think so. I think I'd rather bring, uh, I think I'd rather bring Gyarados. I think I'd rather bring Gyarados. But if we see Hydreigon, then Hydreigon probably has a Tailwind. At least we can fake it out, though. Because of the Levitate, I can fake it out. Uh, Kartana and Tapu Lele. So Kyogre and Rayquaza in the back. Alright, so I definitely want to nuzzle, I want to nuzzle the Katana. But, what do you do here? Do you go for Tailwind, if you, if you have Tailwind on the Katana, and do you double up? Or, do you go for Tailwind and Psychic, or do you just straight up double up into Braviary? Or double up into, uh, Togedomaru? I think I'm going to go for the Tailwind. I'm going to go for the Tailwind. He did go for the double up. No. Oh, the Z. Uh, the Z. Uh, Z Tailwind. Okay, we got him, boys. We got him. Paralyzed the Cortana. You're not, you're not focused, Ash. Alright, so it's a good thing I didn't protect, but... What's it called? Top of is gonna outspeed my Braviary right now. So, now we nuzzle the Lele, and we protect our Braviary. I want to Z move the Kartana. I want to get the Kartana out of here. <laughs> Critical hit, by the way. <laughs> Alright. We know you have Rayquaza and Kyogre in the back. Alright. I think I'm gonna spiky shield here. <laughs> I 
Why do we just get some chip damage? This is where I wish I had Iron Head. See, this is where I think Iron Head would be better on Toyota Bar instead of using Roleplay. I never use Roleplay, dude. Never use it. <laughs> Guess I'll just get some chip damage off on uh, Lele and... Uh... I'm gonna Brave Bird the Cartana. <laughs> oh, let's go! <laughs> Oh my god, dude. Let's go. We want we'll, we'll take out Cartana right here and we paralyze Rayquaza. Let's go. And we and we possibly broke the sash. Top of Lily is paralyzed. Boom, this is looking good. I don't think my opponent was expecting that. I wonder hmm. Unless he switched it out thinking that I had Iron Head on Togedemaru. I wonder if that's the reason why he did it. I don't have Iron Head though. I got roleplay on this thing. <laughs> we'll take that though, boys. We will take that though, boys. Bring in our top of Lele. You're both paralyzed. Um, Tailwind is running out right here. Uh, let's see. He could just extreme speed uh, Bravery Ray right here. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so I'm just going to go for a nuzzle into uh, Lele, get some chip damage, and we're going to protect uh, Bravery Ray right here. We'll let uh, uh, Togedemaru go down. I feel a sneeze coming. Man, my allergies... He went for the extreme speed, but he got paralyzed, so... Extreme speed on Bravery, and then you go for Psychic Attack into uh, Token Tomorrow. Yeah. Knock me out. Perfect. Psychic Terrain. It's going to Xerneas. Oh my god. I feel it, dude. I feel it like in the tip of my nose, dude. Ugh, I'm gonna sneeze. I hate my- I hate allergies, bro. Alright, so... Extreme speed. You extreme speed when you knock out Bravery. We go for Dazzling Gleam. Uh, we knock out your Rayquaza. How many turns do you have left of a... Uh, last turn of Terrain. Or I could just go for Moonblast right here and we knock out... And we knock out Lele. Now I'm just for Dazzling Gleam. Dazzling Gleam and Brave Bird the Lele. If he wants to switch out Rayquaza or something, but or protect it. Yeah, he's going for the extreme speed. So we're going to knock out Rayquaza here. He's going to lose his uh, Mega Ray, which is good. And I'm pretty sure you have Kyogre in the back. Okay, never mind. His Rayquaza survived the Dazzling Gleam. Get out of here. Was that a low roll, bro? Was that a low roll? But we got lucky and the Lele did get paralyzed. But, I mean, it's not like it really mattered. We were going to intimidate the Rayquaza anyway, and then I just protect Xerneas, and we attack Rayquaza on the following turn. Wow, dude. I can't believe that Dazzling Gleam did not knock out. Uh, we just go for Dazzling Gleam again. That's GG anyway, and Mega Evolve and Dragon Dance. If I didn't... <laughs> Dude, if I didn't think it was going to knock out, I should have just gone for the Moonblast into Lele. Knock out the Lele. Uh, we take no side Shock damage. Following turn, we bring out Gyarados and Rayquaza. Can't really do anything. It's going to be at minus one. We just go for Dazzling Gleam. He's going for another Extreme Speed, but again, it's not going to do much. Or he was going for Protect, but I'm pretty sure he was going for, da uh, going for Extreme Speed. But again, minus one. It's not going to do anything. I wonder if that was just a low roll? 
Cause I'm pretty sure we knock out the Ray at that at that range. It has to be Kyogre in the back. There's no way you don't bring Mega Rayquaza and you don't have Kyogre. It's your core. It's the main part of your team, bro. Come on, boy, show me that Kyogre. Show me that Kyogre. Yep. So just Moonblast and plus one Crunch from Gyarados is gonna knock it out. Crunch, Moonblast, GG. Oh my god. Yeah, I, I, I really, I really do think that the reason why you switched out the Lele in that, in that turn, like, why switch out a paralyzed Lele into Rayquaza right there? I'm pretty sure they either thought I, I was going for. I'm pretty sure they probably thought I had Iron Head or something. And to be honest, I think I probably should put Iron Head on, on Togedemaru. tomorrow. I don't use roleplay, like at all. I haven't I haven't been able to use roleplay at all. I debated somebody on on Showdown with it. <laughs> they they switched in their grotto and then I went for roleplay, and we knocked it out. But on Battle Spot, I don't think I've used it yet. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. Haven't been able to use the roleplay yet. And I don't want to force it. I, I think I tried forcing it already and I ended up losing. <laughs> yeah, when you try and force something, uh, usually it's not going to go your way. I think on Shutdown, was it, I don't think I was recording though. I think it was a battle I had off off camera. Uh, on Shutdown, somebody like, I forgot what their play was, but they switched out the Groudon when they had the sun up. Yeah, they switched out the Primal Groudon when they had the sun up on me. So I don't know if they just, they thought I was going to switch out on uh, my Kyogre. So they wanted to make sure that um, they would have Groudon in the back in case I try and bring Kyogre back. But I mean, that um, they were missing out on an opportunity to get free damage. Because it's like, you know, they switch out Kyogre and you go for Precipice Blades, right? But they switched out their Groudon, so I don't know if it was my opponent just expecting me to have roleplay, but when do you ever see roleplay on Togo tomorrow? Here we go, my opponent's just running that QR code team that is super popular. Mega Salamence, Incineroar, Tapu, um, Fini, Stack Attacka, Groudon, and uh, my good buddy Xerneas. So I just want to go with Zer with uh, what's it called? Uh, Kyogre. I'm going to do it. I'm going Kyogre. I'm going Togo tomorrow. You bring Xerneas. You bring Groudon. You bring Tapu Fini because of my Togedemaru. You don't want to get nuzzled. And you either bring Salamence or Incineroar. See, but then Bravery is a solid lead here as well because I can go Bravery and Togedemaru and we can fake out stuff. Yeah, actually, you know what? Forget. I'm not forcing it. I'm not forcing it. Bravery is a much better choice. One shot stack attacka. We, he has two Intimidators, uh, we can fake out the Tapu Fini, Tailwind, following turn, Z move it, knock it out. So I'd rather go Togedemaru, Bravery, uh, we'll bring Xerneas, and we'll bring Kyogre. I'm not gonna force, I'm not gonna force the roleplay. If it happens, it happens. Right here, Bravery is just such a good lead. Because in Ultra Series now, Ultra Series, it's Incineroar, people are running Landorus and Salamence. So there's so, there's so many Intimidators going around right now. And I, look, I wouldn't be surprised if they lead off with Incineroar. They just don't care about Bravery. It's like they're not scared of it, dude. Come on, boy. Show, show me the Incineroar. Okay, Tapu Fini and Xerneas. Okay, that was a good lead. Tapu Fini, Xerneas. Incineroar and... Uh, no, Incineroar and Groudon in the back. Like, I would like to see my opponent protecting Xerneas here, and I can go for a fake out into Fini and get a Tailwind up. And then we double up into the uh, Xerneas the following turn with a Nuzzle and a, uh, what's it called? 
a Z move. But I think I'd just rather fake out the Xerneas and get a Tailwind up. If he goes for Icy Wind, he's going to give us a boost, so I'm okay with that. And his Finny probably has Haze. Yeah, see, look, it didn't protect Xerneas. I, he went... My dude went for the Icy Wind. That, okay, 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 guys, 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 guys. I know I overpredict a lot. Boys, I know, I know this. I know, I hate myself for this. I hate myself for this, right? And it back, it backfires on me, all right? I know, I know this. But I'm at plus two attack. I'm at plus two attack because of the icy wind. And we have Tailwind up. Why in the world would they just leave Xerneas there? Why? Tell me, tell me, guys. Tell me, why would they just leave Xerneas there? They have to protect, right? And go for another icy wind. They have to. They have to. Oh my god. They have to, dude. I'm, 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 I'm doing it. I'm doing it. They have to protect. I wish I had Iron Head on this thing. Damn it. We're going to Nuzzle Xerneas and we're going to Z-move the Feeny. Please protect. Make me look good, bro. Make me look good. Oh my god. Thank you, dude. Oh my god. I'm a plus two attack, man. You have to. You absolutely have to. But now my opponent's gonna get a free switch into Incineroar. I'm pretty sure they have Incineroar. Pretty sure. I could have just actually I could have just protected our bravery right there. So the following trying to just Z move the Xerneas. Cause he's gonna bring Incineroar and fake out. How much you wanna bet? That's if he brought Incineroar. Yeah, I told you, dude. They still bring Incineroar. Damn. Should have protected Bravery right there, but... That means I would have protected, and I would have gotten no turn up. There would have been nothing happening right there. Yeah, I'm screwed. Uh, I'm so screwed. I'm so screwed. <clears throat> I'm so screwed. We're gonna Brave Bird Xerneas though, and we're gonna switch out into our own Xerneas. God, dude. If I would have protected Braver right there, following turn, we just Z move the Xerneas. So. Flare Blitz, Bravery, and you Dazzling Gleam. So, we're just gonna Tailwind if we can get it up. Oh, wait! We still have Tailwind up! We still have Tailwind up. He has to go for Dazzling Gleam. Yeah, we're just going to let uh, Bravery go down right here. And we'll bring out our uh, Toga tomorrow and fake out the Xerneas and get Geomancy up. Because even though I have Tailwind up, what if he wins the Speed Tie and he knocks me out right here? Well, not knocks me out, but he's going to get a lot of damage off. See once again the once again the um what's it called? <clears throat> Iron Head is looking really good. Iron Head is looking really good. Cause I could have still gone for the Z move on the Xerneas, it doesn't matter. Get some damage off and then we go for Iron Head and I'm pretty sure that would have knocked it out. Yeah, but I have to go for fake out into Xerneas and uh Geomancy. Uh, and I'm pretty sure Groudon's in the back.
Plus, losing Toga tomorrow here actually sucks because we lose the Weather War. Yeah, he went for the Flare Blitz. <clears throat> Dude, uh, I ca yeah, I kind of want to get rid of Roleplay. It would have been a lot better having Iron Head. <laughs> and now we bring out Kyogre. And we know you have um, Groudon in the back. We know you have Groudon in the back. So I'm gonna go for Ice Beam into Incineroar, and we're gonna we're gonna Moonblast the Xerneas. Yeah, dude. I think having Iron Head would be a lot better than Roleplay. Because I, I think I could have just gone for the Z-move right there. Could have gone for the Z-move on the Xerneas. And then Iron Head plus Brave Bird would have knocked it out. Or I think just an Iron Head after that. Because we were at plus two attack. So a Z-move through the Protect? I'm pretty sure that still would have done a pretty decent amount of damage. At least the Xerneas does have some damage already. Okay, we either we either won the speed tie or that's like a modest Xerneas. That's a modest Xerneas. Okay, so uh Dazzling Gleam should KO. If we lose the speed tie here, we just lose the game. If that was a speed tie. Yeah. Dazzling Gleam and, and Ice Beam. It's the only play I can do. The Ice Beam actually did a pretty decent chunk of damage. I wonder if that's a, a pretty speedy ground on. I think that might be a modest Xerneas. Because I feel like the, I, yeah, I I feel like that Moonblast did a little bit more than it should have. Cause we're both we're both at plus two special defense. Yeah, that's a that's a that's a modest Xerneas. That's GG! We won boys! We won! <sighs> Dude, I'm glad I, I'm glad I won. But yeah, I definitely, I definitely could see Iron Head being a lot more useful. Like right there, um, I could have just gone for the Z move. I'm not sure. Does anybody know how much damage that would have done? A plus two, because I'm, I, I was at plus two adamant. Plus two adamant. Um, that would have been a supersonic sky strike from an adamant plus two bravery on a Xerneas. We already got some chip damage off on it, so. That would have done a pretty decent amount of damage. And then Iron Head would have just knocked it out. But I like roleplay, man. I really want to get somebody with the roleplay. Now I can just Water Spout and Moonblast and that's just GG. The Incineroar can't do anything. Dude. Oh my god. I Honestly, I thought I was going to lose that one. I thought I was going to lose that one. It's a good thing I just protected Xerneas and let... Uh, um, let... Uh, what's it called? Bravery go down, but you saw right there that was that was either two speed ties, but I highly doubt it I'm pretty sure that was a modest earnings because that damage it did do a pretty decent amount of damage um, But yeah, it was a good thing I just protected so then I can just fake out the Xerneas the following turn and we just get a free geomancy up uh, Yes, I love it. I love it. 
I mean, if they're running a modest Xerneas as well. I know when I was running a modest Xerneas, I was not running max, max speed, max special, uh, max speed. Because what's the point of running max speed if you're going to be running like a modest Xerneas? Plus, you get Geomancy up, you get a plus two speed. I was running like kind of, I was running like more uh, HP investment on Xerneas. But anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys again. I will see you guys again next time.